All right, so here's our last one. Uh, if we were meeting on ground, I'd probably be a little panicky at this point uh, about trying to have enough time to finish it. This one's a little more complicated, but it, honestly, it's not bad, okay? It's not bad. We have a gear on the left, okay? And it's driving the other gear like this. And that gear is rotating this way, which is gonna make this gear rotate this way, okay? So if I switch my hands around, then we're, we're looking at a situation like this, okay? So A is driving B, oh, I got that wrong. A is driving B and they're meshed together just like this. Okay, now B has another little wheel attached to it, and that's pulling up our bucket. Okay, so this one says find the velocity of the cylinder and how far it goes after three seconds. Well, what we need to do is we need to realize that the cylinder is gonna be accelerating. Okay, it's accelerating up. And so it's going to have a certain velocity, and we can use SAM to get that, okay? And it's going to go a certain distance, and we can use Optimus Prime to get that, okay? So once we get that acceleration, everything's, everything's fine, okay? That acceleration is going to be the acceleration of this point right here as well at P prime, okay? P prime, its acceleration, let's say we call it P prime, is given by the radius RD times alpha of, I'm gonna call it B, okay? RD and alpha B, all right? So we need A to get A, we're gonna need alpha, okay? Once we got alpha, we plug things in and then just it'll fall like dominoes for us. Okay. So how do we get alpha? Well, we need to realize that in the center of this thing, these guys are connected. The teeth. One can't slide and the other not move. One can't go faster than the other. So everything running through here, my velocity, my acceleration, uh, tangential acceleration, they, they have to be the same for the wheel on each side, okay? So that's how we'll crack this nut, is we're gonna start off, and we're gonna say that the acceleration of A, where those teeth are meeting, has to be equal to the acceleration of B, okay? So our point P, we're considering its acceleration from both perspectives. And then um, uh, um, the A sub A is R, R sub A, alpha sub A, and the other guy is R sub B, alpha sub B just like this okay that's how we get these things to work out all right now there is one little technicality and that is if you noticed alpha sub a is here that's cl that's clockwise that's a clockwise motion okay and so in terms of a, a vector for alpha a that vector all right, is actually going into the page, into the page. But the other wheel is spinning in the opposite direction. It's spinning counterclockwise, all right? And so its alpha is over here, like this. So the two alphas are in opposite directions, all right? They're in opposite directions. So in our relationship over here, we really need to put a negative. Now, that might sound a little bit strange, but you need to realize that up here, when they told us what alpha was, that's clockwise. It's a negative number. 
So alpha is actually negative four and a half radians per second squared. Okay, alpha A, just like that. Okay, well, whether we choose to deal in magnitudes or we try to properly deal with what's happening on our, uh, <clears throat> with our, our quantities, uh, we get this relationship here that alpha A is gonna be minus RB over RA. Oh, I did that the wrong way. I want to solve for, I know alpha A. Okay. I want to solve uh, the other way with this. Okay. I want to say alpha B is minus RA over RB. Just like that. Okay. Now, in, in terms of trying to keep the br video brief, because I, I know you've been watching a lot, and, and, and I know it gets tedious, I'm not going to chase the numbers on this. You can do that yourself, all right? The only thing, let me just be careful about is, once we have our value for alpha B, all right, we're going to use that over here. You just have to remember, though, that what we need in terms of a radius is this short guy right here, r sub d, okay? So find your alpha, alpha b value, use that to get your ap prime value, and then use our old friend Sam and Optimus prime to, uh, to get your actual answers for the distance. Okay, so I hope all that kind of makes sense. If you do have a question about that, you know, drop it in the discussion thing and um, I'll see if I can clarify some things if I need to. But I, I think you guys can get this. All right, that's it for this sequence of, of videos. All righty.